So Pooja, last we were discussing why you have partnered with Tanzil. I mean, why Tanzil? Uh, why Tanzil? That's a very good question. She is not a dilettante. That's okay. why. <laughs> and um, you know, I've known Tanzil for a very long period of time, like I was telling you. But just you know, having seen her work relentlessly over two decades in this fashion industry and the film industry. And, you know, partnering and collaborating with so many actors, producers, doing 25 plus A movies. She, I can tell she has a knack of style and fashion. Like she knows what is good and what is more and what is less. Okay. You know, she, and not many people have that. She has that knack of fashion. So her dad, Mansoorji's legacy is carried by Sohail and now Hamza which is the third generation and she is going to be, uh, you know, taking part in it. And we are going to be producing uh, a line which is uh, curated by me. Uh, it's called Masterpiece Marvel by Pooja Batra. And I'm very excited to introduce to you my dear friend who's a great human as well, Tanzil Malik. Thank you so much, Pooja, for your kind words. I really appreciate it. Tanzil, you've been into fashion, you've been into Bollywood for almost two decades now. Why suddenly change of heart and getting into your family business? Actually, I was very passionate about my dad's business. He was a legendary artist and a very renowned personality. And he actually was a founder of uh, Aesthetic Artifacts. So uh, I thought I should, you know, carry forward the legacy with my, along with my brother and my nephews, Hamza and Saif. And uh, the product is uh, like it talks for itself. So we are doing something very exclusive and our clientele has been Mr. Dharmendra, Sri Devi, Zareen Khan, Hafiz Contractor and RNA Builders. So, and it goes on and like, you know, so uh, the thing is that a product is very durable and it's waterproof. Artifacts is all about uh, marble dust and fiberglass. It's a mixture of it and where that's how it becomes long lasting basically. So Tanjil, what kind of product that you're launching with Pooja? I mean, talking about exclusive uh, line so I mean, Masterpiece Masterpiece by Marvel. Marvel by Pooja Batra. Batra. <laughs> so it's going to be very exquisite. Uh, something out of the box, which is now going to be easily available in the market and we're going to customize it for her, especially her line, since she's got a knack of it and she's got an eye for it. Mm. And she's also equally creative like me. So we've always been working together and having great combinations and uh, coming up with something really, uh, you know, out of the box. So we plan to get together so that we give people something really different and do something so who would be your clientele? I mean, you have already informed them in some Bollywood celebs probably because of your uh, existing work so, profile. But uh, in future, who would be your major clientele? So uh, it's like artifacts, developers, interior designers, and uh, obviously hotels. So like five star hotels and we're targeting uh, and people who want to make their house, who, who are looking at interiors and who want to refurbish their house. So, they so are basically the, everyone who can actually afford Pooja Patra signature product. <laughs> 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 uh, Tanjil, I mean, since you have started now and you are following your uh, family legacy, you're getting into your entrepreneur journey now after a long decade. So do you think that experience is important when you start an entrepreneur journey and would you be starting again from scratch again from ground zero and you will build it or would it help your I mean of course there is a family legacy would your father's name design his credibility and delivery in the market would it help you or you will start from scratch so definitely it will help me because uh, everybody knows him in India he's a re renowned personality and very good artist and a creative person as I told you, he was a legendary artist. So uh, definitely I will have my father's uh, legacy taken forward and his work taken forward. And uh, we will have some new designs for Pooja exclusively. And uh, yeah, that's how it's going to be. How your product would be different from anyone else who is already into manufacturing of this product? See, firstly, uh, fiberglass and marble dust is supposed to be very durable. So in rains, 
and it will not rust first of all first point and the second thing it's like um, we give 10 years guarantee 10 to 15 years guarantee it's long lasting product and uh, yeah you don't have to change again and again so if it's a very expensive thing and excuse it you will want to retain it and want to you know preserve it so that's how so what all product can you deliver i mean under uh, this so, line uh, is it just internal i mean inside the house or it can be an external no, no basically it's purpose. outdoor and indoor statues their wall murals their urns pots planters and uh, mirror frames and you name it and we have it so table base so dining table base coffee table base pillars so, so puja i believe starting from mumbai and then venturing out in us as well yeah, yeah that's that's a that's a plan <laughs> yeah why not you know uh, always scope for improvement and uh, um, however i think wherever there is aesthetics involved and and class and there is no end to it like people from anywhere if you have a website anybody can order from anywhere so why just limit yourself um, you know to i mean i love doing it in indian market because you know for you to expand to different countries your backyard has to uh, be strong enough for you to go and say, okay, now I'm ready to go expand. So yeah, we will start with India, and uh, they already have it started. But my yeah, line is going to start. We're doing Pan India already. Yeah. So yeah. since it's in-house manufacturing, I believe it will be more mm. easy for you yeah, to have to, yeah. uh, spread across uh, the globe. Yeah. yeah. And uh, since you're already, uh, I mean, well known in international market as well, yes. so it would be easy for you to like it's you know a, yeah, launch. Yes, uh, yeah. Win-win situation, Lovely. yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It's a blessing in disguise to have Pooja Batra. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, recently I uh, came across an article where people were actually uh, comparing the prices of uh, Mumbai homes to some probably property in New York as well. Right. I mean, Trump mm-hmm. Tower in Mumbai, Visa Vis Trump Tower in uh, New York yeah. is selling at almost the same price. Yeah. So do you think for your product, the clientele for these kind of apartments, I mean, that's the right clientele for you or uh, probably you would have some different uh, consumer who would be looking for these kind of products? You know, everybody's uh, interior fashion taste is different. So based on some people wanted blank some people wanted white yeah. so we would want to cater to, to all yeah, our time it's bespoke. basically yeah. yeah it's bespoke so yeah so it's like we're going to customize according to their you know requirement yeah. so so we can it depends on what also. they're looking yeah. at you see so yeah. we can customize that also so so puja i mean product is super important i believe and everyone keep the product line exclusive and qualities become a super important part. So, I mean, have you seen this product? Have you used it before? Or you're just partnering with her right now with in this venture? So I want to take you back a little bit. I've had the privilege of uh, meeting uh, Tanzil's dad when he was alive, uh, Mansoor Ji. And uh, I went to their art gallery, I remember you took me, and he was such a dignified man, and he was such a unique artist. And I remember seeing the pieces even back then, and saying these are um, marvelous, and I'd never seen, uh, you know, the garden pieces, and the pieces of, uh, he had that Italian finish, that finesse, and I, I told him these are exquisite pieces, and I'm so glad uh, her brother Sohail and now has carried it further and taken the you know his name forward and now um, the new generation Hamza. Hamza and Saif have taken it further and they have kept the legacy kind of going so you know yeah I mean he was amazing yeah so my dad was a legendary artist as I told you earlier and he had a very uh, tough life and he was a very hard working person and he was an art director and he's done more than 500 films and he's won a national award for Umrao Jan. So as a child I used to accompany my father to every set and I was very attached to him and very passionate about what he did. So I always wanted to join him and wanted to become an art director which my father said it's not your piece of cake so you can get into fashion and I was definitely more into fashion than uh, art direction but yeah and then I always he always wanted me to join and uh, then he I, I, I want to tell you this and share with everyone that he came walking 
from Indore to Bombay. How tough yeah. his life must be. And he used to sleep on a cycle and he used to, he struggled with Dharmendra ji, Dharmendra uncle, and uh, he slept on platforms and he used to go walking to JJ School of Art. So he was a topper from JJ School of Art. And then he, he actually uh, got into artifacts after during his art direction only. And um, so uh, Zareen Khan, Sanjay Khan, and these people were like obsessed with my father's work. And uh, when he started this, Zareen Khan opened a seven star spa. Basically it's a spa and a five star hotel in Bangalore, which uh, my, dad, my dad's artifacts were you know, put there. And um, she used to uh, only take his advice for anything and everything in interiors and architect and he was a sculptress as well. So, so Girish, it's not just a product for me. Manzoor Magic Mold means a lot to me. It touches my heart and my soul. And I definitely want to take it forward here in Bombay, my dad's legacy and make him proud. Combining their passion for fashion and their expertise, they have found their way to build their brand. And we wish them all the best. Thank, Thank you, you, Girish, for Thank your support. You. Thank you so much.